Good morning, everybody. It's Randy with Her and That, and Julie is videoing me. Today, we're going to do uh, some armadillo eggs. This is uh, one of Rhonda's recipes, and I've kind of amped it up a little bit. But uh, we're going to make these, and we're going to put them on the smoker, and I'll show you the step by step process to make them. Um, we're going to smoke them for a little while, and then this afternoon, we're going to have a meetup with uh, Rhonda and Tom at At Home with Rhonda and Tom. At Home with Tom and Rhonda, sorry. Um, Jared Crocker and Matt Crocker. We're all going to do a live at 4 o'clock. So join us. Um, we'll be talking about various things. I'm going to take these guys over there and we're all going to enjoy them. So let's get started. All right, first of all, I got the smallest jalapenos that I could find. And this is Texas. So this is small. What we're going to do first is we're going to cut the end off. And then we're going to de-seed them. Just take you a little butter knife or spoon or whatever. Get all the seeds out. That's where most of the heat is. And then we're going to fill them with cream cheese and cheddar cheese. Then we're going to put them in a nice little blanket of Jimmy Dean's sage sausage and then that is going to be wrapped in bacon and put on the smoker for a couple hours so let me get this started get all these de-seeded and uh we'll come back and i'll show you the the filling process i got a little hack for the filling the uh, cream cheese in okay now we're taking the cream um cheese which is the Philadelphia whipped cream is a little bit more easier to handle. And we're gonna put two of those in. And then we're going to put about a couple handfuls of the Kraft mild cheddar. And we're gonna mix that together. Okay, so now we just mix that together really good. And then that will go into the jalapeno peppers that Randy is what are you doing with those jalapenos? De seeding. De seeding. Okay. Got all the uh, jalapenos de seeded. Um, got as much of the seeds out as I could. Maybe a little bit left, but that's okay. All right. Here's the hack I showed. I was going to show you. Just take your regular old Ziploc baggie, fill it with cream cheese and cheddar cheese mixture. You don't have to put a whole lot in there. This is kind of a messy process, but that's okay. Close it up. <laughs> then, I'm just going to take my knife, and I'm going to cut the corner out of this. Do like, a, uh, like the bakers use. Isn't that smart? Makes it a whole lot easier to, than spooning in. Heard that. <laughs> and just take it. I might have made my hole look too big. Squeeze it on in there. Make sure you get plenty in. There you go, filled up. Cool. Now that's going to be ready to wrap with the sausage, make a make a basically an egg out of it, and then wrap it and bake it. We'll get it on the smoker. All right, I'm going to finish filling the rest of these, and then we'll we'll uh, come back and show you the the process of wrapping them in the sausage. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So next step, you want to get your sausage. Get it all nice and pliable. 
you're just going to make a little flat deal out of it. Take one of your peppers and just wrap it up. Make an egg out of it. Make sure you've got the whole thing covered. And we'll get all these done. And then we'll take a slice of bacon. I want to see that egg. Sorry. Yeah. You wrap it up. Okay. We'll get all these done. Get them. Get then uh, we'll show you the process of wrapping them in bacon, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. We got them all wrapped, the sausage. Now, this is probably the one of the easiest parts. You just take a piece of bacon, just wrap it up. Now these are gonna go on the smoker at 275 for about two hours. And then about the last 20 or 30 minutes, I'm going to brush on some sweet uh, barbecue sauce. I love the hickory and brown sugar. What's uh, that one over there? That's uh, for, for something else. Um, we're going to do uh, next week, tune in because we're going to do, um, I don't know if all of you have ever heard of uh, Tony Roma's ribs. There used to be several Tony Roma's restaurants around Texas and various areas. Um, there's only a couple left, but they did the most phenomenal ribs, uh, baby back. So I've got a uh, top secret recipe that I got off of a site that uh, shows you how to make the Tony Roma's ribs. They are fall off the bone fantastic. So next week we'll be doing those. And uh, so stay tuned for that, or tune back in for that. Meanwhile, I'm going to get these all wrapped up, get the smoker going, and uh, like I said, 275 for about two hours, and then the last 20 or 30 minutes brushing with the barbecue sauce. Okay, everyone, we'll be, see you live at 4 o'clock. We'll see you at home with Tom and Rhonda at 4 o'clock with... Jared Crocker and Matt Crocker. So be sure to join us live. Thanks, y'all. Bye.